Well, it didn't dawn on me till right now, but after I look at my car full of clothes, I guess that's the end of the season, isn't it? Uh, yes, finishing second in the open. That was a, a good race, I'd said to Jason. You know, half mile track, good horse on the front. You just flat out, ha flat out have to beat that horse to win the race. And I know that sounds obvious, but it, it's much more complicated than that. If I get away on the front end, I believe I'm a winner with yes tonight. He is very, very good. And I will definitely go as far as to say right now, the best he's ever been in his life is right now. Um, you know, for a horse that struggled, got injured, then we, you know, for my partners and, and people out there that are involved with Yes or just watched them. You guys know what we went through with Yes over the last year. Went to Irv's, came back, couldn't figure out what was wrong with them. And then I, I hope everybody learned a little something about Trotters in particular is that it's not always easy. You know, one plus one does not equal two in the trotting world. Sometimes um, that gray area is where money's made breaks are made, checks are got, and um, yes, was uh, exceptionally good tonight, and is very, very good right now, um, woke up today, geez, I had a little headache, I really didn't really get out of bed for most of the day, packed up some stuff, I didn't really pack it, you know, I don't know if you can see behind me, there wasn't much packing going on, I just heaved everything in the truck, I uh, didn't take any horses home with me tonight, there was none to really take home. We'll start bringing those back little by little. I know a lot of people are asking, when are the Ohio Breds coming back? Guys, I know everybody wants videos of the horses and I really want to see your horses, but what you have to understand is the big picture of things and, and not to preach, what I'm saying is we're trying to keep our uh, staff at full and keep them in full in Ohio. We are going to keep 20 or 25 horses in Ohio this winter. Now, the Ohio bred yearlings are not staying in Ohio, but they are there right now for a very important reason. Our two-year-olds turning three are out in the field. So as we start to bring those back and let them get worked on over here, then I can start bringing the yearlings back. You're gonna see all of our yearlings in-house by mid-November, I would think. And as we start to do the drones later on in, in November into December, all of our yearlings will be in-house in Ontario. Now, um, as you can imagine, this has been a stressful time for me. This time of year, I love the fall because I'm a Christmas guy, right? There's no such thing as Halloween. I hate it. I despise it. I think it's probably the most useless holiday on earth. Halloween, when it's done, November 1st is Christmas season. And I'm a Christmas guy now. I went into the mall last week here with Amy, or in Kentucky with Amy, and they already were starting to put up their Christmas decorations. And she, you know, she gets stressful as a mom about uh, about Christmas coming, but it's my favorite time of year is, you know, aside from horse racing, just being a human being, Christmas is, that's my time of the year, I love it. So I'm on my way home now, about to get on uh, the highway, heading back to Canada. No horses on board. Um, I might go back next Sunday, depending on what goes on with Three Point Blue Chip Friday at the Meadowlands, depending on what goes on with our horses here this week. There's lots of transitions. Jason's going to spend a little more time in Ontario now after New Jersey. I'd love him to spend two weeks in New Jersey. Nothing more I would love than that. Uh, he's going to spend a little more time in Ontario. Lauren Harmon is going to play the role Cindy Acton played this summer in, in uh, taking care of our Ohio horses. For those of you who may have some trepidation about that, rest assured, young Lauren might be a young girl, but I can tell you what, uh, I've been a millionth generation horse person and a very, very smart person. She is very meticulous, much like Jason is, and she is a perfect fit for what we need heading into the late fall and winter, into the fall and winter, I guess, in 2021, 2022, for the stable.ca in Ohio which I guess would just be the stable. <laughs> um, so as I said, uh, it's been a great season. My goal now, my job now, my number one job is to get the babies broke. But aside from getting the babies broke is to get all those shares taken care of at Lexington. Listen, I would love nothing more than to roll into Harrisburg knowing that our sales are paid for. That has never happened to me before, ever. It's always, always been, and I've always isolated everybody from it, um, you know, about how hard and how stressful and how busy I am this time of year trying to get most important we have to get horses have to get them when we first started the stable it was get horses then it was get better horses and better horses and better horses now we've come to a position where we've got some real dandies in the barn and I'm so pumped about 2022 you have no idea 
2021 was exciting. We knew early. We had some talent, right, in the burn. You guys knew that. I knew that. But 2022, we don't even have the harness on all of them yet, and I know there's talent in that burn. So, um, again, I, I say this a lot this time of year. Uh, I appreciate the, the loyalty and the, the um, confidence you have in the stable.ca and what we do and how we do it. I appreciate everybody, your participation at the sales, and uh, we'll do our best not to let you down and uh, you do even better next year. So great season here in Ohio, although I will be back and forth from time to time to Northfield Park. This will be, I guess, this drive is my first drive out of full-time U.S. Anthony and into part-time U.S. Anthony. So a big transition, although it just snuck up on me tonight, gonna miss these buggers too. Old pulp. I'm gonna miss this pulp place. Some good stuff right there. Um, it's different, right? It, it feels so different this year than it's ever felt before. This move, I, I can't explain it. It just feels different. So I did leave clothes and shoes in, in the house that we have leased until next year. Uh, Billy Davis is renting a room off me. He's gonna stay driving here full time. Obviously, he's crushing it. Um, and I'll be back every so often, Northfield, Pennsylvania. The border's opening up on November the 8th, so my transition back and forth will be easy, especially if I'm only gone for a couple of days. It should be as easy as get a um, PCR test the day you leave. By the time you come back, you have it. So um, it should be pretty easy. shouldn't be a difficult transition for me at all. Hopefully it won't. We will see, but uh, a new chapter one we've never been through before, that I've never been through before, is fully operating two burns, two different places. I have the utmost confidence in Lauren Harmon and in Jason uh, and in everybody else at the stable.ca. So you're going to be seeing a lot more of me on the Canadian side of the border. I don't really plan on doing a whole lot of driving, to be honest. I'll go to London for the Duke Dio's and stuff, um, you know, keep the rust off my, off my heavy hands. But for the most part, um, I don't think you're going to see me lots at Mohawk. And, uh, I don't think I need to be either. So uh, a huge transition for me, for my American clients that become close friends. Thank you very much for, for everything this year. For um, our Canadian customers that maybe missed me. There's a couple of them out there. <laughs> I'll be back uh, in about four hours. Take care.